All right, here we are. We're gonna make this part in FreeCAD. My plan is to make this actually all in one sketch. So I'm just gonna make this overall shape right here, and then we'll make multiple extrusions and go from there. So let me move this off to the side, make a new sketch, make that on the front plane. I want to make a slot, and I actually need two, and I will make need those to be coincident. And whoops, I am in inches. I need to be in metric millimeters. Here we go. So this distance should be nine millimeters. It should be radius 19. And then this overall height is measured from here to here. Uh, I don't believe I can do that in FreeCAD, so I need to make a line. So I'll start down here, go up there, drag it around. And I can see it's not constrained. Now it is. And make that construction. That dimension should be 105. So I know this is all defined. Now I need to make the rest of the shape. So we got a line coming from down here, and then um, got a line coming up here, there to another tangent. Now I need to make a circle, make that tangent here, make that tangent there. Oops, come on, tangent, there we go. So we have that 34. Now this needs to be 14. And now this to there should be 42. And then I know that this height, actually I'm not given this height, I'm given this height here. So there to down there is 111. And then I know this needs to be a 45 degree angle. It's 135. So let me drag this off to the side here. We're getting there. Actually, I should add this other circle, which is a diameter of 22. It looks like lastly, I need this, which is 27 degrees. And I'm missing one other thing, and that is Okay, this other dimension, that's a radius of 11, so I'll go there to there. That should be 11, which it shows up as negative. Um, that's just with how I'm putting that dimension. Um, depends on the version of FreeCAD you're in, but something to be aware of. Okay, so there's actually one more line I need, and... Uh, needs to be parallel here. And then it looks like that is 12 millimeters. So I'll say there to there, distance 12. Great. So now I have this, and I'm just gonna make everything symmetric about the middle. So I'm just gonna extrude this way and extrude this way. So first off, we have this 28 millimeters right here. So I will get that guy. Looks like that's this trunk and this trunk. I'm holding control to select multiple. So I'll hit pad, symmetric, 28, okay. And then I will get this one here. That one looks like it needs to be eight, which is also symmetric. 
And then lastly, we have this guy here, which should be 11 times 2, because we know that radius. So, okay, that. And I think there's a hole up on here. So, I will add in, I'll just put a sketch quick on here. Um, and I could also do that just on the top plane here. It's just a simple circle. Radius should be, what, 12. And then I want to make sure to pocket that. And I'm going to say up to first. And that's going the wrong way, so let me flip that. Oops, that didn't go where I wanted it to. So let me say through all. There we go. And then last thing, we have these fillets here. It should be 11. However, it's not going to be happy about that. I'm going to say 10.999. Basically, it doesn't like making full round radii in FreeCAD, so you gotta cheese it a little bit. But there we go, there's our final part. Let me click on my FC Info, which is just my mass properties. I'll click on there. I want the material or the mass to be in grams, so I click on grams right here. Click on aluminum 1060, and here's my answer. So, there we go.